The Mach 1 Quick Change Tooling System. The next big thing in machine tech. For large and small shops alike, no other device increases your productivity like the Mach 1 Quick Change Tooling System. Step 1. Remove the drawbar from your machine. Step 2. Installing the press ring. Lower and lock the quill. Remove the bearing cover set screw. Insert an adjustable face spanner wrench into the holes beneath the bearing cover. Then turn the cover. Do not let the spindle fall out while removing the bearing cover. Make sure that the collet alignment screw is flush with the inside of the spindle. Install the press ring between the quill and the bearing cover. Tighten the bearing cover against the press ring and raise the quill so that the press ring touches the casting of the spindle. Then lock the quill in position. Step number three, installing the positioning washer. Loosen the top of the setting gauge approximately one half of an inch. Insert the setting gauge into the spindle. Turn the setting gauge into the spindle until the tapers fit snugly together. Note that there is no play between the tapers. Carefully remove the setting gauge. Using a caliper or feeler gauge, measure the space between the top portion and the solid body of the setting gauge. Combine the supplied shim stock washers to match the space of the setting gauge. Slide the spacers over the end of the drawbar until flush against the body of the drawbar coupling. Step number four, installing the drawbar assembly. Loosen the four column bolts. Swing the spindle past the table until there's enough room for you to insert the drawbar. Insert the drawbar up into the spindle. While holding the drawbar in the spindle, swing the spindle back over the table until the column scale reads zero degrees. Lower the drawbar until it rests on the table. Tighten the four column bolts. Step number five, seating the drawbar. Remove the top of the setting gauge. Lift the drawbar up into the spindle and place the setting gauge under the drawbar. While supporting the setting gauge and drawbar, raise the table until the top portion of the setting gauge is even with the spindle nose. Continue raising the knee until the drawbar has been seated in the bottom of the spindle and the spindle taper mates with the setting gauge taper. Be sure that the setting gauge taper touches the spindle taper. Remove the setting gauge. Step number six, testing the drawbar. To test the drawbar installation, place an end mill holder into the spindle. Pull up on the threaded portion of the drawbar. Check that the drawbar is holding the end mill holder securely in place and that there isn't any play between the end mill holder and the tapered portion of the spindle. Release the drawbar and the end mill holder should drop into your hand. Step number seven, installing the die spring assembly. Ensure that the quill is up and locked. Install the die spring assembly onto the drawbar with the large spacer on the bottom. Thread one nut onto the drawbar until it touches the die spring. Turn the nut 12 revolutions.
thread a second nut onto the drawbar as a jam nut. Use one wrench to hold the lower nut while you tighten the top nut. Step number eight, cutting the drawbar to length. Now that the drawbar has been installed, place the actuator plate over the top of the drawbar. Slide it down until it rests on the top of the head. Slide the red plastic cap over the drawbar and down onto the threaded portion of the actuator plate. Using a hacksaw, cut the drawbar to length evenly along the top of the red plastic cap. Remove the actuator plate. Install the Acon nut onto the top of the drawbar. Install the actuator plate onto the spindle using the provided screws. Step number nine, installing the actuator cap. Remove the bearing cover and press ring. And reinstall the bearing cover. Raise the quill all the way up and lock it in position. Screw the actuator cap down until it bottoms out on the acorn nut. Lower the quill approximately one inch. Turn the actuator cap clockwise three more revolutions. With the quill handle all the way back, insert an end mill holder into the spindle. The end mill holder should stay in place. Step number 10. Reinstalling the collet alignment screw. Remove the bearing cover. Again, do not let the spindle fall. Make sure that the collet alignment screw is flush with the inside of the spindle. Tighten the screw one and a half revolutions. Our bearing cover has an indent, so we used a marker to indicate the indentation. Install the bearing cover onto the quill. Align the mark with the set screw hole. Insert the bearing cover screw. Make sure that the end of this set screw is below the surface of the quill. Drawbar installation is complete.